Hello, my name is James Flanagan, and while everyone who lives in the United States knows their favorite Americanized Japanese, uh, Japanese dishes like California rolls and sweet green tea, according to eatthis.com, I am here to teach about the staples and classics of Japanese culture. This topic is relevant because in the fall of 2021, MSSU had a Japanese uh, semester where they covered landmarks in the, uh, the main culture of Japan. I'm here to talk about the food culture of Japan. Along with, uh, the audience should know where some of the most favorite Japanese dishes come from and what they are based off of. My credibility as a speaker is someone who loves to expand their cultural palate by eating different foods, reading up on articles, and watching videos on cooking Japanese food. I'm going to try my best to teach you all that I know. The topics that I am going to cover are the staples of Japan, common street foods that are uh, very common that Japanese people would eat on the go, and high-end dishes that are only eaten for holidays and special occasions. The first point I am going to cover is the staples of Japanese food. The staples of Japanese uh, cooking involve rice, miso soup, and eggs with the main course. Japan is known for their very large export of rice all over the world, exporting nearly 7,640 tons of uh, Japanese rice in 2015, and is only growing according to, uh, to the government website of Japan. With their high export of rice, many uh, Japanese dishes are based around it like onigiri and tamago uh, kake gohan, which will be mentioned later on in the street food section. However, rice is commonly served with almost every main dish as a side coming with different types of vinegar uh, and uh, noi, which is also known as seaweed in English. Along with rice, miso soup is also known as fermented soybean stock. It, it commonly comes with greens like green onion or noi. Lastly, eggs are a very common staple in Japanese dishes due to the ability to eat them raw. Japan processes its eggs differently than any other country so they are able to be eaten raw and they're packaged very tightly. Now that the side dishes have been discussed, let's talk about street food commonly found in Japan. The first dish that will be discussed is onigiri. Like in the picture, they are rice balls that have a piece of seaweed on them that have a filling inside of them, like meat that includes pork, beef, chicken, um, a fish, or they could have be sweet that have jelly in them. It's basically up to the street vendor. Another popular dish is a dish called tamago kake go, uh, gohan, which is just a rice, uh, rice bowl with a raw egg eaten for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. The second to last street, uh, street food is taiyaki, which is a fish-based dessert filled with red bean paste, which may sound savory, however, it is delicious. I have tried it and I would definitely eat it again. The last street food I am going to discuss is takoyaki, which is a dough ball filled with a piece of squid in the middle with many different toppings, just like the picture, that has like bonito flakes, Japanese mayo, seaweed flakes, while also having some uh, rarer uh, toppings like tomato sauce, cheese, and many other things. It is my absolute favorite Japanese street food, and I would be more than willing to try it again happily. My last topic I'm going to cover is special occasion dishes that Japanese people only eat for holidays. I'm going to cover three occasional foods according to uh, Suna Japan, uh, the website Suna Japan. Ryori, pumpkin, and soba. Ryori is, uh, is best like a bento box. Just like the picture, it, has, it is prepared uh, before the 1st of January and is in between the 1st and the 3rd. It is, um, with it being prepared ahead of time, it allows for the gods to pass quietly during this time. Any food is allowed in the container as long as it is inside that special container. Second, pumpkin is eaten on the winter solace, also known as December 21st, to prevent catching a cold or sickness. Lastly, soba noodles are eaten on New Year's Eve to prevent bad luck for the next year by breaking the noodles to break the cycle of bad luck because they're the easiest noodle to break. 
In this presentation, I have covered three topics. Staples of almost every meal, common street food, and special occasion dishes, and their meaning. Japanese food is single-handedly one of my favorite uh, cuisines to eat of all time, and I hope I have taught you something uh, here today. I hope you have a wonderful night, and my name is James Flanagan, and bye-bye.